The U.S. Army wishes to replace the aging Black Hawks with something more agile, more spacious, more swift and more modern. This is the description about the Boeing Bell V-280 Velour. In June 2013, Bell Helicopter announced that the V-280 Velour design had been selected by the US Army for the joint multi-role JMR technology demonstrator TD phase. In September 2013, Bell announced it would partner with Lockheed Martin to develop the V-280. Lockheed will provide integrated avionics, sensors, and weapons to the aircraft. On October 21, 2013, Bell unveiled the first full-scale mock-up of the V-280 Valor at Association of the United States Army 2013. The Boeing Sikorsky team offering the SB-1 Defiant was also chosen. The Bell V-280 was chosen over the Sikorsky Defiant X on December 5, 2022. Sikorsky filed a protest after losing the contract, but the Government Accountability Office rejected it. On December 5, 2022, the V-280 was chosen by the US Army as the winner of the future long-range assault aircraft program to replace the Sikorsky A-60 Black Hawk. The V-280 is designed for a cruising speed of 280 knots, hence the name V-280. It has a top speed of 300 knots a range of 2,100 nautical miles. One major difference from the earlier V-20 to Osprey Tiltrader is that the engines remain in place while the rotors and drive shafts tilt. The V-280 will have retractable landing gear, a triple redundant fly-by-wire control system, and a V-tail configuration. Dual cargo hooks will give it a lift capacity to carry a 4,500 kg M777 A2 howitzer while flying at a speed of 150 knots. The V280 prototype was powered by the General Electric T64. The specific engine for the model performance specification was unknown at the time, but has funding from the Army's future affordable turbine engine program. Bell expects the V280 to cost around the same as an A64E or M60N. In October 2021, Bell and Rolls-Royce jointly announced that the V280 Valor power plant would switch from the T60 for turboshaft used on the prototype to a derivative of the Rolls-Royce T406 used on the Osprey, which would be named the AE1107F. At the same time as increasing power from 5,000 to 7,000 horsepower, 